everyone. In this video, we are going to start with one of the most important topics in UGC NET paper 1, namely reasoning. Every time you are expected to get at least 5 to 6 questions from this portion, and with adequate practice, you can easily score 100% in this section. So let's get started. Reasoning is categorized into two types verbal and non verbal. Verbal reasoning basically includes words, numbers, letters, etc., rather than things. And non-verbal reasoning includes uh, figures. From net exam perspective, the following verbal and non-verbal reasoning including series completion, coding decoding, blood relations, direction sense test, and others such as Venn diagram, analogical relationships, uh, etc. are quite important. So, in this video, we are going to start with the series completion portion and understand it with the help of examples. A sequence or series can be classified into two parts. It can either be a number series or a letter series. Today, we are only going to talk about number series. So the main aim here is to find the next number in the sequence or replace the wrong number with the correct one or find the missing number. For example, consider the sequence. 1, 2, 3, 5, 7 and so on. It is a sequence of prime numbers. So, automatically, we know that the next term after 7 is 11, which is our answer here. In the next example, we have 1, 3, 7, 13 and so on. If you observe it closely, you will see that here are alternative prime numbers written, starting with 1. The second prime number 2 is omitted, third prime number 3 is written, fourth prime number 5 is again omitted, fifth prime number 7 is written, and so on. Therefore, after 13, we need to omit the next prime number which is 17 and should write the next prime number 19 as our answer. Next, consider addition and difference series. In example 1, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. It is easily seen that each successive term is obtained by adding 10 to the preceding term. Therefore, after 40, we will have 40 plus 10 which is equal to 50 as our answer. Similarly, one other way to look at it is that all conjugative terms differ by 10. Like 20 minus 10 is equal to 10, 30 minus 20 equal to 10, 40 minus 30 equal to 10. Therefore, the next term after 40 have to be 50 in order to justify this pattern. In multiplication division series, usually a number or a pattern of numbers are multiplied or divided to a sequence to create another sequence. For example, in this, uh, the first term is 1. To obtain the second term, we need to multiply it by 3 and so we get 3 as our second term. And now to get the third term of this sequence, we need to multiply the second term by 3 and so the pattern of each preceding element being multiplied by 3 goes on. Therefore, 27 times 3 which is equal to 81 is the correct answer here. In the next example, we have a decreasing sequence. The first term is 720 and if we divide it by 6, we get 120 which is the second term of this sequence. Similarly, if we divide the number 120 by 5, we get 24 which is the third term and again if we divide 24 by 4, we get 6 which is the fourth term of this sequence. So if you see the pattern, the numbers are being divided by 6, 5, 4, 3 and so on. 720 is divided by 6, 120 is divided by 5, 24 is divided by 4. So 6 must be divided by 3 to obtain the next term in the sequence. Hence the answer is 2. Now there are several other ways in which you can look sequences and their patterns. For example, n square where n can be any positive or negative integer. In this example, we have a sequence which consists of the squares of prime numbers. 1 square equal to 1, 2 square is equal to 4, 3 square is equal to 9, 5 square is equal to 25, and 7 square is equal to 49. The next prime number after 7 is 11, 4 square is equal to 121, which is our answer here. In the next example, we have a somewhat similar series. 5, 17, 37, 65101. What we have done here is that we have taken every number, even number, and squared them and then added 1. So, 
2 square plus 1 is equal to 5, 4 square plus 1 is equal to 17, 6 square plus 1 gives 37, 8 square plus 1 gives 65, 10 square plus 1 gives 101 and so on. Therefore, the next term in the sequence will be 12 square plus 1 which is equal to 145. Other similar series arises from what we have studied so far. Sequences having general terms of the form n square plus n or n square minus n are among them. In this example, 2, 6, 12, 20, 30, one way to look at, is, at it is to square the natural numbers and add it to the corresponding number itself. The second approach is similar to the previous one. But in place of doing addition, we do subtraction. The sequence doesn't end here. You need to look out for other patterns like n cube, n cube plus 1, n cube plus n, n cube minus n and so on. But for now, this is enough to get started. Thank you.